This is Magura's brand new cockpit integration. It's really clever. What it does is hide the hydraulic brake hoses inside the handlebar and stem for a really clean look at the front of the mountain bike. I hate cables and wires. They create a mess and always get tangled up, whether it's headphone cables like these. I mean, look at the state of that. It's just a tangled mess. Or cables on the front of your mountain bike, as in this example, an old Scott with a million cables on the front of the bike just rattling around. And it just looks unsightly. And there must be a better solution. And there is. Over in the road bike world, aero road bikes are now putting all the cables and hoses inside not just a frame, but a stem and handlebar. And the Specialized Venge, which I rode last year, is a really good example of a bike where a designer has managed to put all the cables and hoses really cleanly inside a handlebar and stem. So it's usable and it looks really good. And on an aero bike where cables can add a bit of drag, it makes all the difference. Now, aero isn't such a big concern in the mountain bike world. Maybe if you're racing at the World Cup level, it might be. You'll take every marginal gain you can get. But for most people, they just want a really clean, modern looking bike. So Magura has developed a unique handlebar and stem which hides all the brake hoses inside and completely out of view. The hydraulic cylinder is relocated from the brake lever to inside the end of the handlebar, while the brake lever then plugs into it through a small opening in the carbon handlebar. Hoses are fed from the frame through the stem into the main opening in the back of the handlebar and it's all connected together. An oversized upper headset bearing lets the hose squeeze between the bearing and the steerer tube. Simple. And along with a SRAM access wireless shifter and Magura's own wireless dropper post, there are zero cables that clutter the handlebars. It's so clean. Bleeding the brake system looks the same as a normal setup, at least based on the video they shared on their website. So once it's all installed, maintenance should hopefully be a doddle. One potential drawback I can see though, is that you can't, by the looks of it, adjust the angle of a brake lever on handbar. Now that's really important for us mountain bikers. You like to set up the brake lever angle, whether like pointing down or very flat or somewhere in between to suit your personal preference and riding style and not being able to adjust it is a potential drawback on the system. I don't know whether it's just part of this prototype concept stage and whether they can add that adjustability later on remain to be seen. But as an exercise in what's possible and what the future of mountain bikes could look like, I think it's a really exciting development. I think we can see other manufacturers following in Magura's footsteps and trying to come up with really modern, clean looking bike designs where they put all the cables and hoses inside the handlebars and stems. Modern mountain bikes are highly sophisticated machines, but most of them still rely on cables and hoses connecting the brakes and the rear mechs to the handlebars and the control point. But SRAM's access groups have gone a long way to eradicating cables with a rear mech and a dropper post that are now wirelessly activated. So we're a step closer. We just need wireless brakes now. Maybe that's down the line. There's no indication at this stage when it will be available to buy and what frames will be designed around it because a bike brand has to design their frame around this system. So it needs support from the bike industry to embrace this cable free future. And it also needs support from you guys, the consumers, and whether there's an appetite there for a cable free design as there is in the road bike world. So let me know down in the comment section below if you love this design and whether you're on board with a cable free mountain bike design, or whether you think it's just uh, too many drawbacks outweighing the benefits. So let me know your thoughts on this Magura design down below. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button give me a thumbs up and if you really liked it maybe hit that subscribe button for loads more tech stuff from the world of cycling coming up on my channel over the coming days and weeks that's all for now thank you for watching stay safe and i'll see you again soon